since, as you mentioned, that you know you lost your path for a bit, you're coming back uh, to open source community. You know, what message you have for companies, whether they are new startups or established, why they should embrace this open source philosophy? Open source philosophies for me are multifold. Um, the first one is everything I've been saying now about giving your customers choice and optionality is very, very important. If you look at open source from the point of view of what it does for you as a business, so if we look at businesses who are in the open source space, it provides you a way of getting known for the value of what you do. So you're selling on your capability and your quality, not on some hidden feature set. So that becomes very, very important. Open source also provides longevity, and especially for smaller companies, it provides a, a safety net for those organizations that decide to work with your product, they are still going to buy support and services from you. I think that's an important thing. The fact that it's open is, does not mean free. Open means optionality. It means that you can also contribute back in. We have a large number of customers who have got incredible technical resources inside their companies. For them focusing on doing everything themselves, but by collaborating with those customers and allowing them to contribute directly into the code that makes their environment work, it creates a long-term partnership with customers. And so those are the key things around open source. Um, communities mean standards as well. And you get to get more eyes on the problem. And so that's another big driver for the drive towards open source. Every problem is being solved in a dozen different ways. Why reinvent the wheel? And the way I look at open source, I've been covering is that you have so much confidence in your product, you know, that you really do not fear that just by releasing any, because you know, that means if there is a better player who will come and, but you, I mean, that's, I have so much confidence in my, you know, just, I, I, I always compare with food analogy. Mm -hmm. Anybody can make a burger. Yes. You know, the ingredients are the same, but you have so much confidence as Gordon Rom say that what I make will be awesome with the same ingredients. Yeah. So that actually be, releasing your code in open source actually shows more confidence in your, not only code, but Fabulous your team. analogy. So that is, now I all want to go back to Gordon, you know, mm -hmm. uh, can you also talk a bit about who is using it or if you have any case study, success story where you solve somebody's problem and yep. it was incredible. We've had an incredible uptake on it since we launched the project. I mean, officially we only launched at the beginning of this year. The project's been around for a little bit longer. Um, we have customers in production with it already, which is quite, quite exciting. Uh, we have one big customer, a cloud services provider, a sovereign AI GPU provider out of the Netherlands called Nebel. Nebel has deployed Cordant on top of their environment to manage the deployment of Kubernetes clusters, as well as virtualization, so OpenStack clusters, um, and the inference layer, um, providing sovereign GPU services within the Netherlands. Um, and a big key part for them is the ability for them to dynamically build environments for multi-tenanted customers on the fly, fully, fully um, declarative, um, but with full hard multi-tenancy in their environments. This allows them to leverage those GPU resources, which are incredibly expensive, and get value on top of that that they can pass on to their customers really, really quickly. And that's the value for them at the moment. Nebel has been a fantastic partner on this journey for us. I'm, I mean, I want to call them out because they really have been super collaborative, super helpful in this journey. And it's wonderful to have customers like that who understand where the future is going, are able to support projects like this, see the value of open source in their environments. Strong, strong technical teams who are getting stuck in but see the value of what they need to do for customer value. They've taken Cordant. We've overlaid Cordant on top of their existing environment. We're able to do net new with it, but also leverage the existing infrastructure resources and orchestrate those resources. And that's been the value of Cordant for them. And just simply move faster. Not having to do simple things like deploy a Kubernetes cluster from scratch. It's a couple of lines in a config file and you have a Kubernetes cluster. Config file. It's a Kubernetes CRD object, but I think the point is there. Um, and that's been the value to them. Move faster, build value faster, get workloads onto their infrastructure faster. Speed all the way.